The dark portal opens and the rush to level 70 is on, but is that really the best thing to do? Hello everyone, my name is Icosial, and in this video I'm going to show you my plan for increasing reputation with the more important factions in the Burning Crusade while progressing to the coveted level 70. In this guide, I want to share with you all the strategy to leveling for the Burning Crusade that I will be using that puts more importance on reputation gain than actually speed leveling. The goal of this method of leveling is to reach revered or as close as possible to it for as many of the important factions available at the start of this expansion. Racing your way to level 70 will often spoil more efficient routes to gaining reputation with the new factions in Outland, and likely cause a more dreadful experience in the endgame as you try to catch up with your rep. At certain points in this guide, I will suggest to complete specific quests. There are far too many to actually show on screen, so for those, please click on the links provided in the video description below to find which ones I am referring to. Also understand, that when I say to run a dungeon, it is to fully clear the dungeon of all enemies to maximize your reputation gains while in there. Lastly, please keep in mind that in many cases, you will stop earning reputation in a dungeon, or with specific quest, and leave you one point shy of reaching the next reputation level. So for example, when I say to do something until you reach honored, you will likely still be friendly and one point shy of honored. That just means you're ready for the next step. Now with all that said, let's get this video started. The very first faction you can start earning reputation for is Honor Hold or Thralmar, which depends on whether you're Horde or the Alliance. Since I'm a filthy Alliance player, I will be pushing for Honor Hold reputation. On launch day, the Hellfire Peninsula is going to be flooded with people trying to complete quests, which will create a massive bottleneck and really slow things down. That's okay though, because what you want to do is actually get into the Hellfire Citadel dungeon called the Blood Furnace. Both the Ramparts and Blood Furnace award Honor Hold or Thralmar reputation until you reach Honored, but since Blood Furnace awards more reputation, we're going to make that one our priority. If you fully clear the Blood Furnace, you will earn 750 reputation per run, which means you'll run this dungeon 12 times. You will earn a total of 9,000 reputation, so your reputation bar will say 5,999 rep at Friendly. Once that's accomplished, you will need to complete quest to officially reach Honored. This is when you will start doing the pre-quest in order to unlock the quest for the Ramparts, which leads to more quest in the Blood Furnace. That means you will run both the Ramparts and Blood Furnace one more time while not receiving any reputation in doing so. That's not a problem though, because it also means you're not missing out on any reputation gains in reaching Revered. Once you have completed all those runs and completed the quest for them, you will now complete all but the Cenarian Expedition quest in the Hellfire Zone, which will earn you approximately 10,685 more rep. This puts you at a total of 19,685 reputation earned, which should show as honored at 10,685 rep, with 1,315 left to reach revered. All that's needed to do now to reach revered is to fully clear the shattered halls when you reach level 70, so it's time to put this rep farm on pause. At this point, you should be level 62 or close to it, but there's one last thing we need to do before we move on to the next step, and that is to visit Shatrath, get our flight path, and choose Aldor or Scryer. Don't do anything beyond that, and now, let's start step two. Your next faction to work on is the Cenarian Expedition in Zangar Marsh. We don't want to do any quest yet, as they're going to help us get through Honored, so instead, we can choose between two options. The first is to fully clear both the Slave Pens and Underbog Dungeons until you reach Honored. Underbog is the better dungeon to repeat as you will earn more reputation with the Cenarian Expedition and take about 9 runs to reach Honored. You will also acquire Sanguine Hibiscus which will help you increase your reputation with the Sporegar. 
Once you reach Honored, you're ready to begin completing quests. But before I talk about that, let's talk about your second option to reach Honored, which is farming creatures in Zangar Marsh. Located in this area of Zangar Marsh are many bog lords and other creatures that will help you earn some rep with the Sporagar, but that's not your focus. What you're doing is farming these mobs for unidentified plant parts to turn into Lorana Tharwell, who is at the Cenarian Refuge. Turning in 10 of these will earn you 250 rep, but they only grant reputation until you reach Honored. That means you can only turn this quest in up to 36 times, which equals 360 plant parts you need to farm. If you don't want to farm for these, you can simply purchase them from the auction house, but understand that early on in the expansion, they will likely be limited numbers and the cost will be high. When you turn in unidentified plant parts, you will receive a package of identified plants, and these packages have a small chance of containing an uncatalogued species. Hold on to all the uncatalogued species until you reach that last point of friendly and then turn them in to get a nice boost into Honored. Once you have reached Honored, you will now focus on completing the Cenarian Expedition quest in Hellfire Peninsula, Zangar Marsh, and Terracar Forest. During this time there are quests for the Slave Pens and Underbog, so make sure you get those if you haven't done them already. If you opted to farm for unidentified plant parts, try to only run each dungeon once as the creatures in there will not offer any reputation except for the later mobs in the Underbog past friendly. Once all of these quests are complete, and you have turned in all the Coil Fang armaments you have obtained, you should have reached Revered with the Cenarian Expedition, and likely have reached level 63. At this time, you should have already gone to Shatrath and completed the introductory quests that lead you to your decision of choosing your allegiance to the Aldor or Scryer factions. Those will be the only quest you will complete at this time if you haven't done so already. For those who chose the Aldor, you're going to farm for Marks of Kil'jaeden from the cultists found near Akendun in the Bone Waste. These marks only grant reputation from neutral through friendly, so you're going to farm for 220 of these. If you're a Draenei, you only need to farm for 100, and if you're a Blood Elf, you need 340 marks. For those that chose the Scryers, you're going to be farming for Sun Fury Signets from the Blood Elves found here in Terracar Forest. The same numbers apply except if you're a Blood Elf, you only need 100 Signets, while Draenei will need 340 Signets. By the time you're done farming for these, you should have reached level 64 or be close to it. And your reputation should be one point shy of honored. If you don't want to farm for all of these marks or signets, you can instead purchase what you need from the auction house. We will come back to our Aldor and Scryer rep a bit later, so for now, let's move on to step 4. Now that you're around level 64, you want to begin working on your lower city rep. And just like the Cenarian Expedition, you have two options. The first is to chain run full clears of the Akanai Crypts dungeon. It awards 700 reputation per clear, which means you need to run this dungeon 13 times to reach Honored. There are two quests associated with the Crypts, but they award rep for the Shatar, and the one called Akandun is out of our reach at this time. The quest Everything Will Be Alright can be completed and turned in now as it won't negatively impact your rate of Shatar rep gain later. Your second option is to collect Arakoa Feathers which you will turn into Vakax who is located here in Shatrath. If you're not yet level 64 I highly suggest you farm for these feathers which drop frequently off the Arakoa mobs in this area of Terracar Forest before you run the crypts. 30 Arakoa Feathers equals 250 rep, so for every 90 you turn in, will reduce how many times you need to run Akanai Crypts by one. Alternatively, you can purchase an obscene amount of these, 1080 to be exact, instead of running the dungeon, but early in the expansion you might find this to be rather expensive. When you maximize your reputation at Friendly, you want to now begin completing all of the level appropriate Lower City quests to help make a dent into Honored. Completing all of these quests will earn you 5,950 reputation with the Lower City, which now has us at a total of 14,950 reputation earned, and looks like 5,950 into Honored. Because the Akanai Crypts doesn't offer much XP, you might still be level 64, but likely close to 65. 
Now let's put our lower city grind on pause and move on to step 5. The Mana Tombs is an excellent source of XP if fully cleared, and that's what you're going to do until you reach Honored. Each run will earn you 990 reputation, which means it will take 10 runs to reach your goal. Be sure to complete the quest associated with the Mana Tombs, but do not turn them in until you reach 5999 in Friendly to make a dent into Honored. Once you have reached Honored, you're going to head over to Nagrand and complete the Consortium quest found in that zone. You will earn another 2,010 reputation from those quests, which will put you at 12,360 rep earned, which looks like 3,360 into Honored. There are more Consortium quests to do when you reach higher levels, and speaking of higher levels, this is the part where you might have fallen a little bit behind. If you're not 66 by the time you reach Honored, you will enter the optional Step 6, which is the catch-up phase. This begins the more painful part of the process. It's around this time you may find yourself lagging a bit in level, and so in keeping with the theme of this guide, I want to show you how you can maximize your reputation earnings while continuing to gain XP. So, here is your priority. If you're not level 66, and have not completed the Consortium quest in Negron, you should finish those now. If those quests are done, you will want to complete your Kurnai or Maghar quest. If both of those are complete, you will want to kill the cultists at Kilsaro Fortress for Marks to Kill Jaden if you're not yet honored with the Aldor. If all of that is done and you're not yet level 66, you're going to kill Nagran Ogres for three things. Obsidian Warbeads for Consortium Rep, each kill grants 10 rep for the Kurnai or Maghar, and they have a chance to drop Oshu Gun Crystal Powder for Hila Research Tokens. Do that until you reach level 66, and once you reach level 66, you're ready for step 7. It's time to go back to Azeroth and get to the Caverns of Time to start our grind with the Keepers of Time faction. Start and complete the Escape from Durnhold questline, which will award 6,000 reputation once complete. To reach Honored, you'll need to run Durnhold three more times, but that means you need to kill all the enemies over in Terran Mill before you begin the final encounter to maximize your reputation earning potential. It's not important for you to run this dungeon more than once though, since you're going to be forced to run the Black Morass to reach Revered anyways. If you're feeling gutsy, or you have a group of higher level players, you can choose to chain run the opening of the Dark Portal until you reach Revered. Each clear of the Black Morass will earn you roughly 1,110 reputation with the Keepers of Time, which means it's about 11 runs to reach Revered. You will be back here in a few more levels, so it's up to you if you want to do this now or later. If you're going to do it later, it's now time to move on to Step 8. You're likely still level 66, and you want to collect the available quest for Seetha Calls, and fully clear that dungeon about 6 times to reach Revered with the Lower City. You can turn in the quest once they're complete to give you a slight boost as well. Inside Seetha Calls located behind the final boss is the Shadow Labyrinth Key, and you will need that for your Karazhan attunement very soon. Your goal is to reach both Revered and obtain level 67, so you're back in the catch-up phase until you meet those two goals. By fully clearing Seetha Calls six times, you will have earned around 6,210 rep with the Lower City. Add that to the 14,950 you have already earned, and you will have a total of 21,160 rep, which puts you at 160 rep into Revered. Now get to level 67, and you're ready for step 9. At level 67, you're going to head over to Blades Edge Mountains and complete all of the Cenarian Expedition quests that are now available at your level. You're likely already revered with the Expedition, but you're doing this because you need the XP and it gets you closer to Exalted, which you will likely want anyways. Once that's done, you're going over to Netherstorm to complete the Cenarian Expedition quest there, as well as the Consortium quest in Midrealm, Stormspire, and Area 52. If you haven't turned in your Mana Tombs quest, you can do so now. When you're done with those quests, you're likely not yet level 68, so it's back to farming Obsidian Warbeads or running the Black Morass for both XP and working towards Revered or Exalted, depending on where you left off. Once you reach level 68, you're on to the next, and very fun, Step 10. At level 68, the questline to begin your Karazhan Attunement becomes available. 
Doing this now not only serves to earn you some excellent XP, but will also allow you to be ready to enter Karazhan the moment you reach level 70. I go into detail about each step of this attunement quest line in my raid attunement video, so when you reach this part, go ahead and give that a look to prepare yourself. Part of this quest will send you back to the Black Morass, so if you're already revered, you won't have to run it any more times unless you're trying to reach Exalted now. Near the end of the quest line, you'll either need to be level 70 with a flying mount, a warlock to summon you, or be a druid with flight form at level 68 to get you up to the Architraz, so keep that in mind. It's not necessary for you to complete the Karazhan Atuma just yet, so if you can't get to the Architraz, go ahead and move on to the final step. You're now beginning the XP grind to 70, but we want to attack this as we have everything else, so it's time to unpause our Aldor or Scryer rep grind which was left at Honored. For Aldor, you're going to complete the quests that are now available in Nagrand, Netherstorm, and Shadowmoon Valley. Those that choose to be allied with the Scryers will have quests to complete in Netherstorm and Shadowmoon Valley only. Outside of these quests, your best bet to increase your reputation with the Aldor is by farming the mobs located at Death's Door in Blades Edge Mountains. The mobs are dense here and have the potential to drop many marks of Sargeras and Fell Armaments. For those that chose the Scryers, your best option for Sun Fury Signets and Arcane Tomes is by farming the mobs located at Mana Forge Binar in Netherstorm. If farming endless mobs isn't your thing, you can instead rotate between Tepes Keep Dungeons for Shatar Rep and potential drops of Marxis Argeris, Fell Armaments, Arcane Tomes, and Sun Fury Signets. Of those three, it's Botanica that offers the most rep for the Shatar. Shadow Labyrinth is also a great dungeon for Marxis Argeris and Fell Armament drops, and will increase your lower city rep if you're trying to reach Exalted since you should already be revered with them from earlier. If you're still looking for reputation with the Consortium, you can also take time to gather more war beads, but that will really slow down your approach to 70, so I suggest at this point to focus on your Shatar and Aldor or Scryer rep by farming these dungeons or locations for armaments, tomes, signets, and mark drops until you finally reach that max level of 70. At max level, you should be one Shattered Hall's run away from Revered with Honor Hold or Thralmar. Cenarian Expedition, Lower City, and Keepers of Time should all be at Revered. Your Aldor or Scryers and Shatar reputation should all be at Revered if not very close to it. The only one that is likely honored with a little ways to go is the Consortium, but that really depends on how many Obsidian War Beads you were able to collect. If you really put extra effort on the Consortium, that faction could also be at Revered at this time. With your reputations at this level, you likely have good enough gear to start running a few heroic dungeons to further increase your reputation to Exalted. You also have access to everything you need to finish your cares and attunement if you couldn't complete it before 70. Now, all you gotta do is start pushing these factions to Exalted through many heroic dungeon runs, daily quests, and maybe start getting in those first Karazhan attempts. Thank you very much for watching this guide on leveling for reputation. I truly hope this helps some of you navigate the muddy waters that is faction reputation in the Burning Crusade, as it can be a bit daunting. If you enjoyed this guide, please give it a like, subscribe, and click on that bell to be notified of new content I create for Classic TBC. You can follow me on Twitter at Icosial Classic WoW, where I talk all things classic. For some of my other content, you can click on any of these links here. Thank you again for watching, and here's to hoping I crunched my numbers right for this video, because man, I'm not going to hear the end of it if I mess this up. Now, where was I? Oh yes.